Greetings, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Swiss Army Sunday. Today, we're going to be talking about a knife sent into the show from Miss Barbara. Now, this is the Victorinox Ranger, and we are really excited to open this up and share with you guys what it is and everything about it. But guys, we want to say thank you so much for stopping by. We hope you'll stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so as we get started, this knife is brand new. Uh, she said she received it through Amazon. She bought it. The first one never showed up, so she ordered the second one. Um, they sent it out, and she finally arrived the other one. Now, the one thing I say that a lot of people forget to look at, these things are very handy. They break down a lot of information into the pamphlet that they put on here. They show you how to use it to open a can open, uh, use it as a can opener if you've never used it. Also, when you look at this knife, it also shows you oiling um, directions to properly oil it. If you follow their basic directions on how to oil and maintain these knives, these things will last you an entire lifetime. So, well, let's get started. Now, this is a 91 millimeter, meaning it's 3.6 inches long series knife. It is a five layer option from Swiss Army. Now, Swiss Army has been making knives, like I said, since 1884 is what it states on their box, but they have been a staple in the world of the military. Military, Boy Scouts, everybody like that, anybody that wants to truly stay prepared every day has found themselves a Swiss Army knife. I really like them, whether you're somebody like MacGyver or whoever else, they just come in really handy. I do work in the automotive industry, so these knives come in very, very handy. But one knife is not designed for every person. That's why so many of these knives have so many different options, and some of them are going to have the tool you want, some are not. So as we get started, we're going to open up, we're going to start on the back. The back has a lot of cool tools. We also, before I forget, I'm sorry, uh, on the end, we have our proprietary toothpick and tweezers. And then we also have our key ring. Now those are considered functions of this knife, which is listed as 21. So there's three. Number four, we're going with the corkscrew. I like the corkscrew, but I have never used it to open a bottle of wine, honestly. Well, hold on, let me take that back. I don't think I can honestly say that. Um, I just don't use it for that mostly. Mostly I use this to break down knots when I when I uh, go rock climbing or any type of rope management when I'm dealing with our scouts. Very nice, very handy, works great for breaking knots down. Um, next is something different that does you, I honestly don't think I've had on any other uh, one of these options, is a chisel. Now this is a wood chisel, very nicely done. As you see, it's a brand new knife, still has oil on the blade. But it's only a single-sided chisel, which most chisels are, and it's just awesome. Next, we have another, we have a small flathead screwdriver. Then we have what some people either love it or hate it, is the parcel hook. Now, if you're doing any type of bushcraft where you're using pots of water and warming them over a fire, this thing comes in really handy for that. Especially if you don't have anything to use as a pot holder to keep you from burning your hands. You can reach down, grab the bale, pick that thing up. And it comes in very, very handy. I've also used it when building structures and camps, uh, building lean-tos. We, when we're using uh, wire, you can use it to use to twist wire to tighten it down to hold down the structure. Works very well for that. And last but not least, on the back side is the awl. Now, the awl and sewing eye come in very, very handy. For me, I whittle wood a lot, and it just is very handy for punching holes in things. I've also done some tent repair, uh, backpack strap repair, and punching into canvas and nylon webbing, things like that. This thing works really, really well for that. So, Next, we're going to go around the front. And on the front, we have two of the either, you either, falls in the same category, you either love them or you hate them. You either have, you have the, Large flathead with a wire stripper and a bottle opener. Very nice. I think it's, hands down, it's one of the most useful tools I've used. It's great. Next to the blades, it's awesome. On the other end of that, you have the can opener. Can opener also has a small flathead on it, but I don't advise it. Just because you're when you're doing that, you're right next to one of the sharpest 
blades on here, and that's the can opener blade. Very sharp, very easy to just gash you open, and if you're hacking and camping, you don't want to be doing that on a hiking trip. Next, we have a pair of scissors, which are just amazing. They come in very, very handy, and it's one of those things when you've got them and you need them, they are priceless. Next, we have a wonderful, for anybody that does any type of bushcraft or hammock camps or anything like that, is the wood saw. Wood saw is very sharp, very meaty, does its job, and does it very well. Now, this is hands down one of the weirdest tools. I understand the purpose of it being on this knife, but it's just a little different. And it is a metal saw, or a metal, yeah, a metal saw and a metal file. Now, the metal file on both sides, very nice but it has a metal saw, like a hacksaw blade, on the edge. Very cool. I don't think I've had one that's done that, but I'm not sure. Very cool blade, very cool, very handy. When you need something like that, whether it's just cutting something to allow you to shut a door, something to do some type of modification, just to help, whatever it might be. If you've ever used one, tell me what you've used it for. Comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. And then next we have the big blade, and opposite it, we have our small blade. Now, both of these blades are very nice. I believe they're 440 stainless steel and both hold a great edge. Now for me, personally, I use the small blade for tools and um, tasks like my whittling, I use the small blade and the larger blade I generally use for food prep when I'm on a camping or backpacking trip. Both are exceptionally handy and come in very, very well. Both are well done. The blades hold their edge very, very well, and I've been very surprised with those. So. And last but not least is the blades. Now, the blades are both 440 stainless steel and very well done. They both hold an edge very nicely. This, um, I personally, I use the large blade for food prep and processing food or anything like that, just because it's easy. It's a bigger blade. It's easier for me to do that with. And then the smaller blade I use mostly for shop tasks. I use it to cut boxes, things like that, just because it allows me not to go too far in. I do work in the automotive industry. So when I'm cutting open a box, there's generally something in the box. So I don't want to use a big blade that's going to you know, possibly damage something on the inside. And I like the smaller blade. I do a lot of whittling and it comes in very, very handy. So as you see, the Ranger is a very well-designed um, option from Swiss Army. If it fits your bill and it's what you're looking for, go over and check them out. Order one. Um, you can find them at Knifeworks. You can find them on Amazon. Just amazing options. I think everybody should have at least one in your everyday carry. They come in very, very handy and they could very much save your life one day. These knives are designed around the fact that, you know, you might not need one to have a saw. So don't buy the one that has a saw. You might think the corkscrew is useless. Don't buy one with a corkscrew. Parcel hook falls in the same category, but the rest of the stuff, if you don't need a saw, you don't need scissors, but if you do need scissors, man, they are priceless. They are so handy to have when you need them. There's not very many things that you can say about just about any of these tools. That's what they're designed around. So Swiss Army has always come in handy. They've been some of the best options. I love the fact I try to instill it on our youth, especially with my scouts and with my children. I tell them they both received one at different points in their life. My youngest son is 11 now, and he got one for his first one last year for Christmas. He got a Spartan. I think the Spartan is a great option, but now I like this. I like the Ranger. I think it's a great choice. If you have a personal favorite that you prefer from Swiss Army, please comment down below and tell me what it is. If it's one I've reviewed, I'd love to talk to you about it. If it's one I haven't, maybe I can do one in the future. I do have a couple on order right now that haven't arrived, but I look forward to those in the future. So that's going to do it for us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful and you want me to do more like this for Swiss Army Sunday, please comment down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. We're on social media. We're on Facebook and on Instagram. And go over and check out Swiss Army, Victorinox. They have so many different knives that are available. It's mind-boggling. So go over and check them out. You can pick them up on at Knifeworks and Amazon and other places like that. But guys, this is hands down one of the most valuable th pieces of your everyday carry option that you can do. Being prepared for whatever might come into hand, come into you know, come at you for the day is exactly what it's all about. 
being able to open one of these as opposed to a out the front, you know, uh, you know, switchblade style knife, being able to open this while you're sitting in church or at work or something and not freak people out thinking you're going to go postal. Guys, that's what these are about. These are handy, they're useful, and they are priceless when the time comes. So make sure you go over and check out Swiss Army. They make a great variety of knives. And guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Like I said, if you found this video useful, hit the, hit the thumbs up and let the world know. And guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We couldn't grow this channel without you. Thanks again. We hope you take time this week to get outside, take a hike, take a walk, go fishing, do whatever you're looking for. But we'd love to hear from you. So make sure you take time to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. And stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.